These are sentry eggs, or pi dan. They're basically pickled eggs, but they can be, well, polarizing. I would say like an egg you would find in your attic, like a nice, like musty, like ancient, like, like an egg your grandmother bequeathed to you, maybe? I'm not sure. If you had like a wet socks that's dirty and it's been sitting in your laundry basket for a week, that's what it smells like. Sentry eggs are one of the most misunderstood dishes in Chinese cuisine. Does it mean it's 100 years old? Wait, I thought they were 1,000 years old. Do they give a horse pee? Don't they all contain lead? So none of the above are true. We found a sentry egg maker in Sichuan who does an interesting variation on the classic version. Instead of black eggs, hers are yellow. Here's how she does it. These are raw duck eggs, and they are screened against the light to check for imperfections, before they're covered in a mix of mud and rice holes for two to three months. It sounds simple, but the secret lies in the mud, which creates a chemical reaction that transforms the egg from this to this. Her spice blend includes cinnamon, ginger, tea, star anise, orange peels, and Sichuan peppercorns. She then throws in salt, soda ash, and quicklime. Soda ash and quicklime react with water in the mud, creating sodium hydroxide, a highly alkaline compound. This breaks down the protein in the egg and binds with the water to create a gel. That's why when you open a sentry egg, the insides are gelatin, and you don't even have to cook it to eat it. Sodium hydroxide, also known as lye, is the same stuff used to cure fish and olives. After the mud is done, it's rubbed onto the eggs to create a vacuum seal. The rice holes are added to keep the eggs from sticking to one another. Then they're left to cure for up to three months before they're ready to eat. Okay, so why do her sundry eggs look yellow instead of the usual black? That's not entirely true. Toxic lead oxide has been used in sentry eggs before to prevent over-fermentation and to keep the egg yolk soft. But lead isn't what creates a black color in sentry eggs. That comes from the Maillard reaction, a natural browning effect. It's the same reaction that makes cooked bacon and freshly toasted bread brown. And it's accelerated in a high pH environment, like when you combine soda ash and quicklime with water. But you can delay the browning effect by reducing the amount of these ingredients, which leads to yellow sentry eggs. Cure those eggs with more ash and lime, or wait a little longer, and they'll eventually become black too. So how do they taste? Pretty much the same as black sentry eggs, like a ripe, creamy cheese with a whiff of ammonia. Um. And and she's already training the next generation of century egg makers, her children. Uh, 
，就是通过我这么多年的传达给他们，传递给他们，另外让他们，就是说不断的创新，不断的演化，做出比我们更好的品质。